Today we're going to look at another high yield topic, which is uh, pain management in palliative care. So let's start with this question. So the correct answer here is start a fentanyl 50 patch. So a 50 patch means 50 micrograms per hour of fentanyl is being released. Um, so a fentanyl 50 patch at the same time as the last dose of modified release morphine. So um, a couple of tricky things in this question. The first thing is that the equivalent dose, so 60 milligrams of oral morphine in 24 hours, is approximately equivalent to a fentanyl 25 patch. But this patient was on 60 milligrams modified release morphine twice daily. And so their total 24 hour dose at the moment is 120 milligrams. So what they need is a fentanyl 50 patch. And then because fentanyl takes a long time to get to sort of the steady state, it can take uh, 12 plus hours to get up to a decent level and up to 24 hours to get to sort of full efficacy. Um, the recommendation in the BNF is that you should start a fentanyl patch at the same time as the last dose of modified release um, oral morphine. And that's so that there is this cross cover, otherwise you know there'd be a good period of time where the morphine is worn off but the fentanyl isn't at the right concentration and leave the patient in quite severe pain. Um, so a couple of things to note about fentanyl. Fentanyl is not appropriate for someone who's in acute pain or who's got a rapidly changing or unstable pain. And that's because of the fact it takes such a long time to get to a steady state and concentration. So fentanyl is useful where the patient has tolerated an opioid, a strong opioid in the past, like morphine or oxycodone, um, that their pain is stable, but perhaps they can't tolerate orals because they've got nausea and vomiting, or as in this case, they've got dysphagia, or some other reason where the oral route is no longer suitable and a transdermal route might be preferred. A couple of other things to be aware of in terms of opioid equivalency. Uh, we can have a look at this table which looks at the strength or relative strength of different strong opioids compared to oral morphine. So I hope that's been useful and please do join us again for another AKT 30 day challenge tomorrow. Thank you.